Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. Welcome to 30 minutes of my day. I, I actually just have a few little puttering things to do. Um, it, it's actually not very early for me anymore. I went and got my uh, COVID vaccine. Wahoo! And uh, oh, I had the most handsome doctor. Oh my goodness. This young man, mm, 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 I, I must confess for a split second, I thought it might be kind of nice to pretend to faint. <laughs> oh my goodness, he had these beautiful big brown eyes. What a lovely young man and very polite and very helpful and, and uh, nice young man. Anyhow, I'm looking for something. So I'm going to, uh, I'm already putting you on hold. So hold on. Okay, found it. I guess I should have been ready before I started the camera. I just wanted to show you my next uh, journal that I'm pretty sure I want to work on. And it's one of those ones where I just have the cover to work from. But what a gorgeous cover it is. Isn't that beautiful? And uh, I just, I just love it. And I think this is going to be fun. I'm toying with the idea of simply making this into, you know, the the title label for um for the journal and this is already gold so i may just simply fill that in with gold um uh, i'm not sure yet i've got uh, lots of ideas but i do love this from the style of this cover and from the age of the i'm sort of looking at the how worn these shoulders are <laughs> And from this art style, I'm guesstimating this is probably early 1900s. They, they did these really beautiful covers and spines back then. I, I love when, they, when the spine used to be just as beautiful, if not more beautiful than the cover. It was really something important to, to make a spine lovely because that's what you're looking at when it's sitting on your shelf. And this, boy, this spine doesn't disappoint. Isn't that... Oh, it's just, it's lovely. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to have to do a little work on this later. I've already uh, tried to clean up what was already torn apart in here. And uh, this part isn't so bad. I think I'm just going to reinforce here with a little bit of um, um, linen or cotton and... Uh, and then we'll be good to go. It's going to be a, a good size. Where is it? Where is my... This will work. Let's see. So it's going to be an inch and a half spine. That's lovely. And that the surface area is a nice... That's a nice size. Um, you can do folded... Just a folded eight and a half by 11. So that makes for... A nice option of uh, a nice variety of papers. I'm going to work on... Oh, wait, no, I've got something else. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> I should be ready to go. I got some Happy Mail the other day. I actually, I got two Happy Mails in a row. Um, so I'm going to do the first one that I got now, and then I'll do a separate uh, video, I think, for the other Happy Mail. Um, but I've got the, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? <sighs> a new cook, a new book of cookery, Fanny Merritt Farmer. And I have to send a great, big, huge, very grateful thank you to Brenda for this. Brenda, this book is magnificent. Brenda contacted me and asked if uh, she said she had a book she thought I could do a good job on and so I'm very honored and this book belonged to her mother-in-law and it's just oh she wrote me a lovely note too um, this belonged to her mother-in-law it's very old I think it's about 108 years old and it's got beautiful color plates in it don't you love this? I'm going. This is all going to go back in when I remake this into a junk journal. 1912. So, hold on. I love when I make 
junk journals uh, from the publisher Brown because that was my maiden name. So it feels like a little bit of my name is in any any journal that I make that came from the publisher Brown and Company. <laughs> um, it's just a lovely, lovely book. It uh, it's got a few color plates inside as well some black and white photos um 1912 i dare say those must have been colored color plates like they, there was no there was no te technicolor photos back then they were colored afterwards they were black and white photos that were later colored look at that macedonian in Macedon macedon in aspic mm, that's so pretty and one of, and this is another one similar to what this one's going to be like it's just a nice size it's the size i like i do i must confess i love a a, a good sized journal that's nice and uh the width the spine width <laughs> sorry i'm having a brain cramp um it just lends itself to give, having lots of room so that if you want to use laces you won't bulk it up because it's already nice and big and lots of pages and uh and then again the this size the de the dimensions here it's nice to be able to just use a standard sheet of paper uh folded in half and it will fit in here very nicely and then this book in the back oh my goodness wait till you see what's in the back i don't want to push too hard on that this book is still in quite nice condition Look, at, it's full of beautiful advertisements in the back. Look at these. Aren't they lovely? So pretty. I, I'm looking forward to putting all of these back into the book. Make them into various tags and, and uh, pockets and things like that. Isn't that? Oh, it's just so nice. So nice. I love that they knew the joys of delicious olive oil. Even back then. Look at this. Wouldn't you love to go there? Mary Elizabeth's Candy Shop and Tea Room on Fifth Avenue in New York. Oh, I want to go there. <laughs> I want to have tea and candy at Mary Elizabeth's. So pretty. Look at this. Her ivory soap. Oh, oh, oh. isn't that pretty? So thank you, Brenda. Thank you very much. I'm going to ponder for a while on this, on what I want to do. It's it, it really it's actually a nice treat when you get almost a blank cover because then you can do what you like on the front. I could put a, a you know a vintage housewife or even an old fashioned, you know, from a master's painting. There's lots of paintings of women in the kitchen and you know put it right down here in this corner i can already see it now i just mm, i think this is going to be fun so i usually want to ponder them for a while think about what my plans are for that gosh it's very heavy it weighs a ton so that's going to be fun to work on when i get to that brenda from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for thinking of me trusting me with your mother-in-law's cookbook that's a that's a great honor um i want to finish up i want to finish this up and uh, i did a bit more work after i turned the camera off yesterday but then this morning i've been busy i was uh, i had to go a couple cities over a couple towns what am i saying city <laughs> a couple towns over to get my vaccine um but yesterday i worked i worked on my paper dolls for a little bit more sorry and I inked around the edges but I didn't ink the backs and I do want to ink the backs I like how this there's book oh here books on the back so I think they turned out very cute that little family you so you can see my sleeve here normally I was here and a little bit smaller I made myself a little bit bigger trust me I was not Mark was a very tall man. He was always taller than me because he was three and a half years older than me. And then as a man, he was, ooh, 6'2", at least 6'2". My brothers, all three, uh, tall men. So, um, I 
You know what? I was still unhappy with my sun up there in the sky. And then I remembered that I've got, I've got this funny book that I saw a lot of people um, have been enjoying lately. This antiquarian sticker book. It's quite amazing. And if you see it, you may enjoy it very much. Of all places, and I treated myself to this, and you know me, I seldom buy myself something new to use in journals. And I really haven't had the courage yet to use one of these in a journal that I sell in my shop. But I've used them for my things. And um, I found it at a drugstore. I was in the drugstore uh, last year. I think I... I think, yeah, if I remember correctly, I'll have to try and remember. I told, I was telling Nancy, uh, I treated myself to this for my own birthday. <laughs> so I've had it for a while and you can see it's still, oh, quite full. <laughs> I think I've used two out of it. <laughs> Anyhow, I remembered it had a sun in it. So I'm toying with the idea of putting this sun over that other sun that I used. But I want to look at it and see. So yeah, cool book. Um, it was not cheap for Canada. It was, well, it's listed here $33.99. It was less than that. The store that I got it at, uh, they, dis they automatically mark down their books, but not by much. I swear they mark it down by a, an amount that they've already marked it up by. Do you know how they want you to feel like you're, feel like you're getting a deal when you're not really getting a deal? <laughs> stores like that anyhow this the sun's face it's still that that victorian or old-fashioned face but i like it better it's clearer than that stamp that i did that's sort of blurred so i think i'm going to do this but i do want those edges i actually want black around the edge because i've got black around these edges and I think it'll make it pop a little bit more. So that's the plan. Oh, that was close. Hmm. All right, where is my, I want my sponge. I want to bring it in a bit more. I want it a little more pronounced. And then I'm going to have to glue this down because I don't trust the adhesive on it. It's just a sticker. But I do like that better. Yeah, so I got my vaccine. It just felt, going in, it just felt like a regular, um, you know, the flu shot that we get every fall. So I was pleased. I'm just checking my glue. I haven't used it yet today. I was pleased with that. They say that usually if you're going to have a reaction, it's with the second vaccine. So I've heard. I had the uh, Moderna. So did my husband. He had his yesterday and he got the Moderna. Oh, I'm much happier with that sunshine up in the sky. I can see it better. Now I'm still going to, I'm going to let that dry and I'm still going to put some nice shiny, nice shiny gloss on that, I think. Now, um, what else did I want to do? I want to ink the backs of my happy family i just want them aged around the corners around the edges and then i think what i'll do there's just no point trying to do it on camera um start picking out papers for that that other journal and maybe start thinking about if i'm possibly going to have a theme and I was thinking because of all the trees on the front 
maybe sort of a natural forest, woodland, field flowers kind of theme, I'm thinking, maybe. I don't know. It's quite unusual cover, and, uh, and I'm hoping to actually have some fun using some blues, shades of blue. Oh, that looks nice. That looks good. You look handsome, boys. Let's do little Catherine. Oh, that's, I'm going to have to glue that down. The toe of my shoe is coming up. It's not good. It's just, these are just papers I've glued together. It's not, it's not cardstock or anything. So they're just glued together. So I'm just going to pinch that. And that should do. There, she's happy. Let's get the proud parents inked around the edges. There we go. That looks nice. Let's get that out of my way. Now, what I want to do here is, um, I, I think I'll do my work first before I glue my pockets down. I have a feeling once they're glued down, there's no going back. And plus, once they're glued down, putting wet glue onto paper makes them a little malleable again because there's moisture into the paper. And I think that's when I'll put my rice bag on top and get these back to being nice and flat. They're not too bad. I've seen way worse. Um, they're not too bad because mostly they've only had um, acrylic medium or Mod Podge on them. They haven't had paint. So... Um, they're good. What I want to do is I want to put um, these little houses somewhere like across the bottom because what I want is I want mom and dad to have their own pocket and I want my brothers to have their own pocket because they always shared bedrooms, the three of them, in various forms. Either these two shared a bedroom or these two shared a bedroom and then he went to university and they got their own rooms and I always had my own room being the only girl, so I'm going to give myself my own pocket here. And, uh, and that would be the happy family in my journal here. Um, but I want to, so I want to figure out how I want to incorporate these. I've saved this little banner of houses for I don't know how long. Oh, I have Tupperware bins. Um, to my left here, I've got one of those old racks that you used to be able to keep uh, record albums, 33 RPM record albums, and I keep these Tupperware bins and I have them labeled, of course, because I label everything, retro and fun, people and animal and bugs, and I basically just throw pages in as I find them and think, oh, wouldn't that be cute in a journal? So I knew I'd had this for quite a while. And you know how it is. You suddenly think, oh, I'm doing the perfect thing for that piece that I saved. And then usually you can't find it. Um, but I found it. <laughs> I remembered I had it. And I think what I want to do is, I think I want to, I'm not sure whether I want to put a few houses on this side and a few houses on that side. 
And I think that's what I want to do is like that and make them become a pocket. So I think I'm going to, well, I guess I'm going to do it. You do the commitment cut, right? So I'm going to go up here between these houses. And, um, and put them there and just turn it into a fun little pocket. I want it to run off the page a bit so that it's more of a natural. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. And if I put you down there, I'm just trying to decide whether I can save that tree or not. I'm going to try. Worth a try. Save the tree. I'll come back for that. So that, I, that actually gives me another little pocket there. Now I'm tempted to just take that little chimney off. It's just going to get in the way and possibly get bent. It's so tiny. So I'm going to use some artistic license and it will be fine. Now these ones are a little bit bigger so I will they can stay. These remind me of the kind of chimneys we saw in Ireland. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, love it. Okay, happy with that. Hopefully you can see that. Now, this one. How am I going? So if those are together. You know what? Let's just get started by cutting the roofs. And we'll see what it is I want. Hopefully the inspiration will come. <laughs> now, yeah, I want that tiny little house. And I'll explain why after I get it. So my beautiful granddaughter turned 13 today so I have another teenage grandchild that makes three how terrifying is that um, so we went over and had a driveway visit with her today poor thing this is her second pandemic birthday now and for 13 like that's I don't know, that's a pretty big one, I think, because, you know, you're a teenager. Fortunately, she's, uh, she's very good about it. She's a pretty sensible young person. Very proud of her. And she's growing into such a nice, a nice person. I might be a little biased, but I don't think so. So as much as I love all those little chimneys, they're just going to get bumped and bashed with uh, with little Catherine going in and out of her pocket. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm just erring on the side of I don't want them to get bumped and bashed and sticking out the wrong way. I didn't make this as thick as the other. This really is a file folder. Okay. 
There we go. We're coming along. Uh oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. No, maybe not. All right. Well, what do I know? Gosh, these tiny little scissors are so helpful getting into little places like that. All right, so if I put you there I'm tempted to take those off and just let that hill go down the hill and you'll see why in a second so all that work and I'm cutting them off <laughs> but I think it's a more natural you know it can just fall off into the uh, Atlantic Ocean <laughs> Oh yeah, that looks cute. Now, where did that tiny house go? Remember I said there's a tiny one. That, there it is. I want that tiny house. And I want that little tree. because it's going to go up here on the North Shore of Lake Ontario. How cute. All right, now I need to ink these. Shocked. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use my tiny little inking brush. I'm definitely going to need to put my rice bag on this because it's really wanting to curl up the grain of the paper it, um, because I, I think I just used did I use Mod Podge on this I no I think I used my my Liquitex medium Flat edge. I'm just going to make sure it's, I don't like when the white glares out at me. There we go. That one's nice. Now where did the other one? There it is. I keep feeling like I'm going to sneeze. So not terribly exciting today, but um, I was going to say it isn't always, and actually it usually is never. <laughs> That's okay. It's all right. When I'm done here, I have to pack, pack up some. No. No. Let me see. 29 minutes. we got to glue these in. I'm not going to have spent this whole time. There we go. So this is going to go here. Like that. Let's do it. Oh rats, I didn't put my um I didn't put my pin back in. That shows you how quickly it can decide to glue itself shut. There we go. There we go. Let's put our pocket in. Oh, 
I wish I'd put some there. I think I've still got time. There. There. Have I? How am I? 30 minutes. Okay, let me glue this one in. While I'm gluing it in, um, I will thank you for joining me today. It's just a little something to watch while you're while you're uh, having your morning coffee or morning tea, and you can watch me and avoid turning on the news. <laughs> Who needs that, right? <laughs> Who needs that? I'm going to go up this side, too. Um, just so that maybe it'll help it not curl so much. And I'm going to go in and do that on the other side, too. What am I at? 31 minutes. Okay, if I get cut off, please know <laughs> that I hope you have a great rest of your day while I'm working on this. And I want this glued down. Maybe I can glue that side. There. Because then Catherine can go in right there. Let's stick her in and then I'll wave. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.